Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the 10th stop on our adventure of visiting all 198 Oregon State Parks. This is Smith Rock State Park, north of Bend, Oregon. If you're interested in following that family journey of going to all the state parks, I'll link the complete playlist in the description box below. Welcome to Investigating the Northwest. This channel is dedicated to exploring the beautiful, mysterious, haunted, and historical of the Pacific Northwest. During the warm weather, we like to get outside as much as possible and do a lot of hiking, so we are exploring the beautiful nature and wilderness of the Northwest. Today, we visited Smith Rock State Park. If you've driven on Highway 97 north of Redmond, Oregon, you've likely seen this gorgeous formation off the highway. Ever since I first saw it, I wanted to get up close and explore more. This park is located about 30 miles north of Bend and about 10 miles north of Redmond. I'll be posting another video of our hike to the top of Smith Rock via the Misery Ridge Trail in just a few days, but but here are some of the highlights of our visit to this state park. The beauty of this state park is breathtaking. And these formations you can see as you're driving by miles away on the highway. And here we're hiking down from the parking lot to the trailhead. So there is a little bit extra hike if you want to do the Misery Ridge Trail. You have to add on this extra hike down to the trailhead itself. And you can see on the mountain face there, the back and forth trail that is the beginning of the Misery Ridge Loop. Now, this first mile is straight up. It's a pretty steep incline. You gain about a thousand feet in one mile. So there's stairs, lots of rocks, and you just need to take your time and be careful. But there are beautiful views to reward you throughout this entire hike. So here you'll see some of the switchbacks as we make our way up to the summit and we're already pretty far up, but it's just really gorgeous. And right up there is the summit. So we're getting close. Lots of stairs and rocky terrain in this first mile. And here is the summit. We're up on the top. We're taking a look around. I'm texting someone to tell them that we made it to the top. <laughs> but here we approach one of the most amazing views on this whole hike. Just gorgeous. And we stayed here for quite a bit looking at this particular view. So lovely. Mm. We're still on the top of the mountain. We haven't started our way back down, but here we are approaching the back side of what they call Monkey Face Rock. You can see the face of the monkey better from the other side, and I have a picture of that. But here is our first look at this pretty iconic formation here in Smith Rock. And on the way down, you get amazing views as well.
It's less steep. It's less rocky. Once you get through that first mile, the rest of it is a really pleasant three-mile hike until you get to the hike back up to the parking lot. And, you know, another one of the views and another one of the views as we're strolling the back side of the loop on our way back to the parking lot to close the loop. Lots of shade on this side because we went early in the morning. Lots of wildlife and this gorgeous view that we're headed towards. Just amazing, wonderful hike. And here are my personal reviews of this park. The beauty is a plus. This is a stunning park to visit. Even if you just park in the parking lot and look at the amazing formations around you, just gorgeous. Now is this park child friendly? We actually did not bring our kids to this park because we wanted to do the more challenging hike and that trail is not kid friendly. There is a steep hike up and some potentially dangerous steep drop offs and we just didn't want to take the risk. However, there is a play area at the parking lot with some rock climbing formations. There are kid friendly hikes and there are plenty of facilities and bathrooms for them to use. So it is a place where you can take your children. However, we wanted to go on the hike that wasn't really child friendly this time. There is a $5 day use parking permit. So make sure that you either bring your annual pass or you visit the parking permit kiosk when you enter. For the facilities, I would say B plus. There's plenty of parking. There are children's play areas. There are picnic tables and there are flush restrooms. However, those restrooms were a little difficult to find. There are some porta potties in the parking lots that we saw first, but we didn't actually see the restrooms until we were further away from our car. So all in all, this is a beautiful park. We will definitely visit it again with our kids to take some of the other easier routes. So I highly recommend putting this state park on your to-do list during your summer travels. Thank you so much for joining me to learn about Smith Rock State Park. And don't forget, if you're interested in learning about the mysteries of the Pacific Northwest, of exploring fascinating locations and discovering local legends, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive an email whenever a new video is released. Thank you, and I'll see you next video.